How's it going guys? Jerry here and welcome to a sort of brand new project of sorts. Today I am going to be continuing my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire playthrough but with a little bit of a twist. Instead of just continuing my normal Alpha Sapphire playthrough that I started about two months ago and never completed, I'm going to start this one over but it's going to be in the form of a Nuzlocke and I'm pretty sure I don't need to go over exactly what a Nuzlocke is because I'm pretty sure most of you know what a Nuzlocke is. I'm just gonna go over the basics of a Nuzlocke. Essentially, a Nuzlocke, you catch a Pokemon, and every route you enter, and then you catch that Pokemon, you give it a nickname, and also, if any of your Pokemon faint, they are gone for good. So essentially, your Pokemon die. And uh, I figured I would do this because I really wasn't enjoying the Alpha Sapphire playthrough that I started originally, and I figured that doing a Nuzlocke of sorts would actually entertain me and also entertain you as well because obviously there are more things on the line so without any further without any further ado let's go ahead and get started I'm actually pretty excited to do this I'm going to attempt to actually finish a playthrough on this channel because I've done so many playthroughs and I've not finished one of them so I'm going to attempt to finish this one Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call a Pokemon. I love this intro, by the way. It's awesome. And luckily enough for me, I have finished the game already, so I already know what to do. And I already know what, uh, exactly what's going on. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times playing together as friends, and at times helping one another out. Uh, later on in Auron, and sometimes we just like to have fun battling others like us, but as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. Tropius! I do research to try to unravel those Pokemon mysteries, but that's enough about me. My god, this game is just so gorgeous. Look at Taylo. How's it going, Taylo? Can I name myself already? I forgot how long this intro is. It's pretty damn long. What about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I feel a little insulted, but uh, we are indeed a male. Will you give me your name too? I mean, I kind of have to. So I'm going to go with Jerry because that is my name. And also it's one of the best names ever invented. My name is Jerry. So you're Jerry. I am Jerry. I am. Ah, I see. You're that Jerry. Yes, I'm that Jerry, Professor Birch. You're the one who is moving to Little Root Town, where I live. Interesting. Is there an Azuril doll right there? Are you ready? I am ready. Let's go ahead and do this. Your very own adventure is now about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the role of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. I expect we'll be meeting again soon. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Will do, Professor Birch. Will do. I'm actually pretty excited to do this. Like I said, I'm going to attempt my absolute best to finish this playthrough. And I kind of picked the worst time to actually start this playthrough because I start school next week. And I'm pretty sure school is going to keep me pretty busy. So I'm going to attempt my best to update you guys. I'm not sure if daily, maybe once every other day. I'll probably upload a new episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke playthrough thingamabobber. I don't fucking know. But anyways, here we are in the back of a moving truck. I don't even know what's wrong with my mom, but... Yeah, here we are, along with the boxes and this Azurodon. It's an Azurodon. It has a familiar smell. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous! I've actually not seen the beginning of Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby since the first time I played it myself. And I just, I don't know, it's just, I guess, it's funny because I was going to say it's a nostalgic feeling. But it's not really nostalgia at all because the game just came out two months ago, so... Hey mom, Jerry, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of a bumpy moving truck all the way? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly why it is you put me in the back of a moving truck, but what can I do about it? I'm already here. Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Jerry. So where the fuck did I sleep last time? Come on, you have to see in the inside. Alright. Let's go ahead and see the inside, I guess. Look at those Machoke! They are not that useful, they just move <laughs> left and right and then around the fucking table. And they're leaving now. What I always wondered about Machoke is how the fuck they grow that belt on their waist. 
Macho doesn't have a belt, but then Macho does. Interesting. Interesting. All right, yeah, get out of here, Macho. Hey, look, it's my doll. It's following me everywhere I go. It's kind of creepy. You should go and see your new room upstairs, Jerry. Dad even bought a new clock for it to help celebrate the big move. You need to set the time, though. All right, Mom, thanks. And is that the... Yeah, that is the, the entire Hoenn region. It's pretty large, but uh, we're going to be exploring everything that Hoenn has to offer. So there's a clock here, right? Uh, you gotta set the time. And it already does it automatically. It's based on the time of your Nintendo 3DS. The hour was set to 15 and the minute hand to 18. It's actually, yeah, that's actually correct. Wow. I actually haven't changed the time, or maybe I did, of this uh, capture card that I got. I was assuming it would be based on Japan's time since that's where I ordered it from. But no, it's actually the time of California, which is where I live. Oh, Jerry, Jerry, quick, come quickly. Okay, what's going on here? Hello, Mother. It's Petalburg Jim. Maybe Dad will be on TV. Uh, okay. We brought you this report live from in front of Petalburg Jim. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the Nox... In Nox... Next star show. I can't read. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed this part. What a shame. That reminds me. One of Dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you, could, you should go over and introduce yourself. Jeez, what's going on with me today? Alright, so I guess since there is nothing else to do here, we might as well go and introduce ourselves to Professor Birch. Let's actually talk- oh, tiptoeing my Jordans, I guess. To think that you can get data from the friends you pass by even when your Nintendo 3DS is in sleep mode. The power of science is staggering. Looks like this guy is easily impressed. Although that is true. Video game consoles have come such a long way, especially handhelds. Oh, hello and you are. Oh, you're Jerry, our new next door neighbor. Welcome! We have a daughter about the same age as you. She has been so excited about making a new friend. She should be in her room upstairs. I hope you go and introduce yourself. Sure. I'm a big fan of girls. They're cool. And pretty. Okay, let's not get weird here. <laughs> so you must be May. And you're wearing a fanny pack. Do I have a fanny pack? I think I have a fanny pack. I don't have a fanny pack. So I'm assuming they're back in style. Pokemon fully restored items already and... Huh? Who are you? Are you serious, May? What an insult. Oh, you must be Jerry. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And then when Dad, oh, I mean, Professor Birch, told me about you moving here, Jerry, well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. But, but that's just silly, isn't it? I've just met you, right, Jerry? So what am I talking about? Aw, she's adorable. Oh, no, look at her face. Oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Jerry, I'll see you later. She's pretty adorable, actually. I've heard, uh, since I haven't played the May character in a while, um, because all I do in Omega Ruby is just battle and shiny hunts, um, I kind of forgot exactly what Brendan does, but I hear that people say that Brendan is actually quite sexist. If you use May, so... Or if you choose May, I should say you don't use May. I think I hear someone screaming overhead. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. Alright. I mean, I'm technically used to this. Help me! Let me guess. Professor Burge. Yep. Alright, guys. Well, I guess we're just gonna let Professor Burge be eaten by Puchiana. Hello, you over there. Please help me out. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. Mm, nah, I don't really feel like it. Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Fine, I guess I'll help. Alright guys, well this is where I want you guys to be a part of this Let's Play. So I'm gonna let you guys choose my starter for this series. So, who is it going to be you guys? Is it going to be the Fire-type Pokemon Torchic, the Grass-type Pokemon Trico, or the Water-type Pokemon Mudkip? In the comments below, please let me know which Pokemon you would like to see me use for this adventure. And on Saturday or Sunday, I'll upload the second part with uh, the Pokemon that you guys chose. So, you guys have three options. Either Torchic, Trico, or Mudkip. But with that being said, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to drop a like down below. Likes are very much appreciated. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get about. So, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jerry, and until next time, stay awesome.